About a couple of weeks ago, I was approached by a book writer offering me to write a book for me about my martial artist journey to make it into, well, a book. And I decided that I'll step in and talk to you in this video about the possibility of it uh, to ask if you think that's an interesting idea, if you would like a martial arts journey book to happen, what it is about and how potentially uh, I would have to rely or I would rely on your help to make it happen. So if you're interested to ever see a martial arts journey book, stay tuned for this video. The writing book was on my bucket list for a long time and I did try to write a book, one or two books back in the day uh, when I was in my teens and I realized, you know, it's not that easy and uh, I always thought about writing a martial arts journey book too and a lot of people asked me like, oh, are you going to write a book about your journey, you know, the transition from Aikido to MMA and then the opening of the dojo, the traveling to Switzerland to become a full time Aikido student and you know there's so many stories there I don't think good stories which a lot of them are on video but there's so many videos that it's easy to get lost between them and you know it's hard to connect which one is after which one chronologically and not all stories have been told so so making or writing a book makes sense to kind of really share the details of the whole of the whole journey uh, but again, the challenge is writing a book on your own. It takes time, that, that's one, but time is time. Uh, the other one is the older I get, the more I understand that if you want to do something well, you best be an expert at it. And if you haven't put, out, put in thousands of hours into a specific realm, then most likely you won't do so good at it. So why, you know, why try to become, be good at everything and, and instead of just rely on experts and that's why I had the idea of hiring an expert to write a book about my martial arts journey for a while but I just didn't see it kind of you know happening it wasn't really like on in front of me but then this lady she heard about my story and she got intrigued and we met up and she offered to do it for me which obviously you know has an, has a financial uh, investment uh, but yeah there we go we have the offer for the book to be written, uh, but there are some details which we need to discuss about. Well, first of all, I need to ask you, so would you be interested to see a martial arts journey book happening? If so, let me know. <laughs> and if yes, uh, then I'll tell you how the process would look. So if I would decide to hire the lady to write the book, uh, it would take a while. It would take uh, at least about a year and a half to write the Lithuanian version, which is my native tongue version, which is I'm from Lithuania. If you didn't know, we speak Lithuanian, if you didn't know. And then it would take, I think, probably like half a year for the English version to come out, uh, for the translation to happen. So we're talking about about a couple, about a couple of years from now until the book would happen. Uh, as I mentioned, there would also be a financial investment and if you know a little bit about me, you probably know that I am not hyped about money. I don't, I, I work my ass off to make a difference. I don't work my ass off to make money. I can, but that's not really, you know, my thing. So I came up with this idea that if enough people would want the book to happen, then most likely I would start a crowdfunding page and try to gather up the money. So we're talking about three to 4,000 euros uh, for the book writing, publishing, and I'm not still sure about the details about the English translation, if, if that would add up extra finances, but, but basically probably we're talking, well, let's say between three to 5,000 euros. Of course, I could chip in and uh, cover some of the, some of the money by, on my own, but but if there would be a crowdfunding, that would be a huge game changer and that would definitely make the book happen. Uh, of course, crowdfunding isn't just a one-way street and I would make sure that the, the street would be a two-way street, which means that uh, if you would finance the book writing and the crowdfunding, uh, then I would do my best to, you know, to give you something back, which would be, depends on you know, how much money, but the idea as I'm having is you know, let's say if it's like it's ten dollars, then you get an ebook as soon as it's released. Uh, you get to see the process of how it's being written and and everything. And uh, you know, you're, you you get the the early drafts, so you're in the process of the book writing. Uh, then you know, if you if you chip in like for twenty or thirty dollars, then uh, I then there would be the promise of me 
signing the book, sending it to you as soon as it comes out, you getting an audio version of that as well, you know, stuff like that. And for the big investors, like, you know, a couple hundred, uh, then you would be in the book, you know, there would be a thank you to you, you know, like the regular stuff, how crowdfunding happens. So I'd be interested to, to do it in that way. So you would invest into a book and you would get something back. But again, you have to take note that that would take a couple of years, probably, until the book would reach you. Uh, but then as well, you would be part of the process. You would be behind the scenes. You could have, you know, we would do some votes and you could, you know, share your opinion about it. You would see how the process is going on. So I think that that's kind of cool too. Uh, the last thing, and probably I should have started with that, but uh, about the concept of the book, of how it would work. Uh, so the, the lady that I'm, that I'm in contact with who would take care of the writing, obviously I would be telling her stories. You know, I would be, we would be sitting a lot of, we would be making a lot of sit downs and, I would be laying out the whole story and it would be her job to, to put it into a book format, to crystallize the thoughts, to connect it all together. And she had a really great idea, which I like, that the book would be as accessible to most people, as many people as possible. So it wouldn't be only for martial artists, uh, but, but because, you know, questioning and, and losing of your faith and, uh, and changing your beliefs, it's, it's, a, it's a universal theme. And so we, uh, the idea she had that the, one chapter would be like a Q and A, like we would just have a chat and I would answer questions to kind of get a, get, give a sense of an understanding of, you know, how, how this whole realm of questioning and changing of your beliefs work or kind of discovering your own passion, etc. And then after a bit of a Q, after a bit of a kind of a casual chat, a Q and A, then we would jump into the story, you know, chronologically, you know, my teens, how I was having difficulties uh, fending off uh, thugs in my city and how that inspired me to start Aikido, you know, how I, I, how I did Aikido. Then, you know, we come back to a Q&A, which is like a casual chat. Then we go to me traveling to Switzerland, training, the life of a living student, then, you know, then opening my dojo. And eventually, the idea is obviously to have a beginning and an end. So the beginning would most likely be my early age of facing violence and starting martial arts. And the end would most likely be the second Aikido versus MMA fight. Or, I mean, the one I did uh, the New Year's of this year where I trained MMA intensively for about a year and a half and then had the sparring again. So that would be kind of a nice finish up to the whole book. So that's the idea. And as I said, a lot of uh, my decision, I have to make a decision in the next couple of weeks. So a lot of that relies on whether you're into it or not, on your responses, whether you'll be like, oh crap, I really want this, or, or you're going to be like, eh, you know, I've, I, I'm not interested. And the second step is if you would be interested to chip into the crowdfunding yourself, if you think that's a good idea, the more positive reception I will get, the more likely it is that the book will happen. Maybe you have some other ideas to suggest. Maybe I'm missing something. Let me know too. Uh, but yeah, so, so this depends whether the book comes out sooner or later. Depends kind of on what your response is going to be. So don't hesitate and let me know what you think in the comments. I'm going to be looking forward and I'll see you there.